This is Nick from About Six Acres. Welcome to Tip Tuesday. It's that time, late spring, summer's approaching, things are growing in your garden, you are harvesting things, but you are probably battling some pests, insects, maybe some fungal diseases, some viruses perhaps. Um, so let's talk about some organic ways that we can control insect pests. One of the biggest problems we have here in East Texas that I'm experiencing in my garden are caterpillars. So like cabbage worms, army worms, um, and you know, squash bugs as well, um, eating our squash and other things. So I've implemented sort of three control. Well, I've implemented two, uh, organic methods and the other one um, I'll share with you that's it's natural and I had nothing to do with it so the first thing is you know especially when we're talking about caterpillars and worms so they will eat everything from peppers to your cucumbers to melons and squash even your tomatoes so if you get those hornworm tomatoes um, you pick those off all laid by moths and sometimes beetles. But what you can do is uh, purchase some of these little strips. So this one is, is used up, but we got this from uh, Arbico Organics. It is the uh, Trichogramma wasp, and it's a little wasp about the size of a fruit fly. And there's like thousands of eggs on these little strips, and you can post these out. In your orchard posted some up there but I put some on the posts in our garden on the corners and basically there are little flies that will come out and um, sting and lay their eggs inside the caterpillars and basically immobilize them and then the, the um, larva of those wasps will eat those caterpillars from the inside and uh, reduce the damage and then multiply so you'll have that continue control. If that is something you're look, looking at, uh, go to Arbico Organics. They have a lot of variety of things that you can get. Um, and also you can, uh, to control those worms and some beetle larva, you can get a organic bacteria, which is called BT. It's uh, Bacillus thuringiensis. And you can apply it in a spray, and I believe there is even like a powder that you can put down. Um, and the caterpillar of those moth, of those pests, will ingest that and basically will, will die because of that. And it's not harmful to people or, or pets. Um, again, it's a, it's a bacteria that enters that caterpillar and basically um, does something with the enzymes inside that caterpillar so it doesn't want to eat and just basically die so those are two organic ways you can control pests and one which happened this morning was so cool because you know in your garden there's life and death going on all day under the soil under leaves things you don't see hopefully it is still there okay and um i don't know if you can see it but we have a blinded sphinx moth okay that is basically now becoming lunch for this bold jumping spider and if you can see the end of that spider there but that moth is pretty big now that moth technically is not a pest but those jumping spiders they will go after um, other insects flies other caterpillars um, and if their normal food is scarce. They will even go after brown recluse spiders and black widows. So those boys and girls are my friends. And they have that little smiley face on the butt. Let's let's go see that. It's not their butt, it's their abdomen, but you know. But that little smiley face. If you can see it, it's white. Sometimes it's red. But look, it's it's like smiling. So those are your friends. That is a natural way. Okay? Instead of spraying things around your garden, the first sign of pests. Maybe let nature take its course. If you find one of those jumping spiders in your house, capture it and maybe release it into your garden, okay? Free, no chemicals, 
or anything and they don't they won't bite you unless you antagonize them and they're really cute to watch um they will even they're jumping spiders because they will jump they will go to an, an edge okay so they will go to an edge and they will measure a distance they'll go up feel move back feel and see how far the distance is and then try to jump across and if they miss they try again so your tip organic methods control pests especially again we're talking about like beetle larva squash larva and army worms and dangerous caterpillars i'm not talking about butterflies things like that okay because those are good you want those you want to have host plants for those well we're talking about like cabbage worms army worms web worms just destructive caterpillars and beetle larva in your garden use um, bt the natural um, bacillus thuringiensis spray or powder okay you can order your uh trichogramma i believe i'm saying that again latin is not my first language trichogramma wasps um Arbica also sells those and you can get the variety depending on where you are in the country. There's native varieties. You get those little tabs, place them around, they hatch and they will go out seeking those caterpillars and other insects. And then third, let nature take its course. Introduce those spiders, keep those spiders around, keep those wasps around um, to control any pests. Okay. Um, Hope those tips work well for you. Let me know what organic methods you use. I know there's some marigolds in here. We use some of those, but there's any other organic methods that you use to control pests, especially caterpillars. Um, let me know in the comments. All right. Have an awesome week. Okay. And uh, y'all don't forget to be awesome as well. Take it easy.